Hello friends, it's me, Chin Encoder. This is the 11th chapter in the Java multi-threading tutorial series. And in this chapter, we will talk about daemon threads. So a cube daemon thread search on Google will return this definition of the daemon thread. A daemon thread is a thread that, that does not prevent the JVM from exiting when the program finishes, but the thread is still running. So this is the point, a thread is a thread that does not prevent the JVM from exiting. So if you have a normal thread and uh, by the time you close your program, if the thread, the non daemon thread is not completed, the program won't finish. The program will keep on running until the newly created thread is completed. So let me show you what I meant by that. So uh, let us first create a non daemon thread daemon thread problem so in this in this class we will see the problem of using a non daemon thread a standard thread and see what exactly is the issue we have so let's say i have a new i have a thread a simple thread so i can create a thread in this way also so thread ph equals and here i can create a thread and here I can pass a runnable target. So this is just like creating a runnable object like the runnable ABC equals new runnable Okay, then passing this ABC to this thread just like we did in chapter 2. So here I'm going to create a thread just like this. It, it is going to be a simple thread. Okay, so uh, using lambda expression, I can uh, reduce it to something like this. And here I'm going to write an infinite loop. And within that infinite loop, I'm going to sleep for like three seconds. So this will sleep forever. Okay, so, uh, okay, now I don't want this. Now, if I run this program right now, you will see one thing that the program will never close. The main thread will be finished just after I don't need this thread th now the main thread will be finishing just after executing this start method so we expect the program to finish by the end of this code I mean by the end at this point it should exit so let me add a message expecting program shutdown now and if I run this program right now you will see that the program should have exited after executing this s out instruction but you can see that the multi-threading run the program is still running if i check the task manager and uh, let me just go back and yeah in the netbeans ide you can see that the java platform sc library the, which is my current java program is still running in the background now let us see how we can fix this problem using a daemon thread. So let me create another class. So daemon thread. And let me just copy this entire code there. I just want to show you the difference between these two. Okay, now instead of starting this thread immediately, let me assign that to a variable. So thread th equals new thread. And I have an option called set daemon. So th dot set daemon is there and it is false by default and using the set daemon method i can mark a daemon a thread as a daemon method so if you look at the documentation of the daemon method mark this thread as either a daemon thread or a user thread the java virtual machine exists exit only uh, when the only thread running are all daemon threads so at this point by the time the program wanted to exit all the threads that were running was not daemon but at this point since we set this thread to daemon then the program should finish or exit after executing this expecting program shutdown now i forgot to start the thread so i have to add this th.start so we marked this th thread as daemon and we started this thread and if i run this program right now you will see that the program exited immediately after showing this expecting program shutdown so th this is what is happening since the thread was daemon when the program entry the main thread entry it immediately shut down because all the remaining threads are just daemon thread only okay so that's about daemon and then 
let us talk about uh, some other cases so uh, let's say you want to check whether a thread is daemon or not within the thread for example you are writing a part of a big project and you are working on the inside of this thread and if you want to know whether a thread is daemon or not you can use this thread dot current thread dot is daemon will return whether the currently executed thread is daemon or not so i'm going to e am i daemon so this will display whether this will show whether this thread was a daemon or not uh, by executing this line within that thread so if i run this program right now this won't be shown because the main thread will exit the program immediately so i need a slight duration of time to give enough time for this thread to display this am i daemon message so i'm going to add a 500 milliseconds of sleep duration and let me run this program right now and you can see that am i daemon true so this thread is daemon so you, if you want to check whether a thread is daemon or not you can check with is daemon method of the thread now let us come back to the non daemon thread problem right now so the problem with this uh this example was uh this thread this program will never exit because this thread is a non daemon thread and it will keep on executing so if we run this program it, it is expecting the program shutdown but it is never getting shut down so if you come across this kind of situation that you cannot use a daemon thread but uh, you want to close the program also so in such cases or in such scenarios what you have to do is to call system.exit so if you call this system.exit it will kill all the threads and will immediately exit the application so if you add system.exit let us see whether uh, check whether it is uh added in the documentation so terminates the currently running java virtual machine the argument server says status code by convention so uh so it is saying that it it will terminate currently thread running java virtual machine so it is not just closing a thread or uh, killing a thread it is terminating the entire java virtual machine jvm on which the program is running so when it exits the jvm all threads running on that jvm instance will also be killed so let me show you what i meant by that if i run this program right now you can see that we got this expecting program shutdown now message and the program entirely exited so uh, this is what you have to do if you have a thread that is no daemon and you have to exit the program anyway so that's it guys that's the end of this video we talked about the daemon thread and its different properties so as always thank you for watching this video see you on the next one